Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be continuing the construction of the robot. Uh, if you recall, last time we made a hand. And now we have uh, two hands. Okay. So this time we're going to be making a foot. And here is the leg. You're wondering what the hell this robot's going to look like yet? Because you probably should be wondering that. It's, uh, it's going to be different. So today, uh, I've got two of these legs right here, and I'm going to make one more for the third leg, because they're going to be three in all. And I'm going to kind of step you through that. And by the way, if you like this shirt, why not buy one online? Uh, you can get one of these. It's my design. And if you're a huge adventure fan like me, you can, you know, show it to the world. And all the proceeds go to support Jack Houston. So, all right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. These are little uh, plumbing uh, uh, plug uh, things you get in the plumbing department. And I'm going to make holes in them. small holes that's gonna get me started and I'm going to get uh, use that to kind of uh, build off of and create larger holes using this okay This will rip this thing right out of my hand if I'm not careful. It does help to use a really sharp bit. All right. Now I have holes in them. Uh, what I need to do next is I'm going to take this armature wire, okay, and I'm going to start creating the leg. This is a uh, tubing from a shower head that I got at a resale shop for like two dollars or something. Um, okay, well, I want it to go right up to the top here and no that's not true. I want it to go a little further. I want it to form the, the, the front toe as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of measure that out. Uh, just eyeballing it really. Because this is, this is going to go down to the bottom of the foot. And then I want it to come out, and I want it to curve down. It's a little high, but basically that's right, okay? So next, I'm going to use this piece of uh, hardware here. This is a offset connector. This is uh, this goes to conduit for electricity work. Um, but I don't care about that. I just think it looks cool. Uh, I like the fact that it kind of uh, come, juts forward and then comes down, and it kind of looks uh, like a like a foot or like an ankle, I should say. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy screwdriver here and take out this screw. Okay, and I'm gonna feed this thing through, let's see, like this. No, well, yeah, why not? Okay. All the way to the tip there. Okay, it's gonna curve out and then back down. And there we go. There is the first the front toe and the beginnings of the foot. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, uh, one of these is gonna, gonna slip on here, uh, but what I really need is I need the part that's gonna make the back here, the back two toes, and to do that I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take this foot and retrace all the way to the back here, and, uh, well in fact, just to make things easier, I am going to clip off the excess because I'm sure that I like this length. 
this length is good. This is not the best clipper to use, but uh, misplaced my other one. Kind of messing this up. This is actually a great wire stripper. That's all right. Okay, so uh, I'm going to measure this out so that it's identical to this foot here I'm using as a model so that uh, they're all the same. Okay, and it's looking good. And then I'm going to curve it back up right about here. Okay, now this is how I did this. Uh, I'm now going to bend it over like this and this is going to be kind of tricky because I need this to be as flat as possible so I'm going to start uh, crimping it and I'm using my needle nose pliers that have been dipped in a uh, rubber rubber dipped uh, the rubber is really for uh, Dipping to uh, give you a, a soft handle on, on tools that the where the handle has been worn off, uh, but it works great in sort of treating uh, the, the a pair of pliers like this so that you can bend armature wire without scraping it up. Okay, looking good there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it off. Okay, now. This has to go in here, and now remember where I mo removed uh, the screw? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a, a smaller, but uh, well, a thinner, but longer screw, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so I've got my little box of uh, wacky little funky screws here and looking for a long one this is pretty long right here okay so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that screw through here now this screw is a little bit a little bit weird because it's got a kind of a saucer in the front there and that's not that doesn't really match the other screws I had I'm gonna look at this one uh, yeah this one's not too bad I'll use this one okay so what I want to do here so I want to stick this in here, and then I'm going to stick uh, the screw in here, and that screw is going to just sort of sit there and give this V piece uh, something to sort of uh, sit on, sort of clamp it in there. Of course, that's not going to hold by itself, so I'm going to basically drench this in uh, two-part epoxy glue and that's going to hold it in place okay so uh, that's how I'm going to do the the back toes there toes if you will and then uh, I'm going to fit this stuff uh, here here and here and create the the, uh, the little tips of the toes that way I've got these uh, funky little things here that I'm using to kind of look like uh, uh, I don't know some kind of hardware that sort of uh, takes the, uh, I guess the uh, the force of the step and buffers it a bit, and kind of just adds a little extra interesting hardware look to it, so it doesn't just look like armature wire. And then the only other thing I'm doing here is I'm uh, screwing on these little uh, funky little rings here. To kind of give the uh, the top of it uh, an interesting look with that hardware, because otherwise I'm just going to end up with this thread, and I don't like that. That looks well like some sort of plumbing or electrical hardware, and it is in fact electrical hardware. Um, and the one other thing that I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and wrap each of these toes with some wire. So when I go over this and paint it, in case you hadn't, in case you've been wondering, uh, yes, actually all of this is going to be. Uh, painted quite thoroughly with a coat of uh, sort of a rusty uh, metallic so uh, it won't look anything like this when it's finished um, and it's going to go over this and it's just give it a little bit of texture so it doesn't look like again a smooth you know armature wire surface it looks like some kind of mechanical uh, contraption and that's going to finish up 
the legs. Uh, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not, well, I'm not gonna do the uh, the glue right now because that's gonna take a, a few minutes and uh, that'll be boring. But uh, essentially, that will get me a complete set of three legs, and I've got the two hands. And at that point, I'll be ready for the body, of which uh, this is part. Um, probably wondering how the heck that's going to become the body. Uh, essentially, what I'm doing here is I've got these. These are um, lug nut, uh, what you do hickeys. Uh, there's a there's a pawn shop with you know like six trillion of these in a huge bin. And they basically give them away. They're like, uh, you know, door prizes or party favors or whatever. So, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to take one. I'm going to drop a little washer in there. If you saw on Vine, I actually had to uh, make my own washer for one of them because uh, it wasn't the right size. Um, and yeah, I'm 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 putting stuff on Vine just uh, for the heck of it because it's fun. Um, so here we go. I've got an extra long screw. I'm going to put it through there, and, uh, oh, well, I need the uh, the other side, but anyway, that's going to go uh, through here and lock this on, like these have been uh, uh, fastened, and essentially, I'm going to take the end here and slip this uh, through here so that the little piece of uh, lug nut hardware what you do hickey there becomes like a socket that the leg goes into and that will uh, that will finish the bottom part here uh, what does the rest of the body look like well you'll just have to uh, wait and see so join us again when uh, I finish this robot on the YouTube channel and in the meantime uh, don't forget there's a new store up and you can go uh, get, there's a print, a really high quality print. There's a, a t-shirt, not this one, but a, a Jack Houston t-shirt if you would prefer to wear a Jack Houston shirt, which is rocking. Um, and uh, some other cool stuff. So go check out the store. Um, remember to tweet, uh, post stuff on Facebook, tell people uh, we're making Jack Houston here right in front of your eyes on YouTube. And uh, it's going to get really fun. Uh, all this stuff is going to start building up. You're going to get to see a lot of results from all of this coming together and being sort of inserted into the game. And I think that's going to be really fun to check out. So uh, until uh, next time, hang in there, space fans. Thanks.